The concrete truck driver hit by a train yesterday walked away with a single broken bone. We just found out he was released from the hospital last night. News 4's Rebecca Cardenas is live at the crash site. Rebecca, you spoke with other Smyrna Ready Mix employees who take that same route. Yeah, Tom, and they know the blind spot that this train comes around really well also. So we're standing about 15 feet away from the roadway right now. But the closer we get to the road where drivers themselves are on, it doesn't take long for that curve to disappear. Now, Smyrna Ready Mix employees drive over these tracks daily. One of their busiest concrete plants is right up the road. Joe Camp drives over these tracks several times a day as part of his job for Smyrna Ready Mix. He drove over them today. Just one day after one of his co-workers was hit by the train. It's a shame that it happened. Uh, like I said, I wish there was uh, some signals or, or whatnot on there. He always stops to check for the train since there are no visible warning signs other than the railroad crossing signs at these tracks. They need to do more on their part as well along the railroad tracks because there's a, there are curves and drivers just can't see and they can't see them. The concrete mixer driver remarkably walked away without a single broken bone. Kemp took it upon himself to go back to the site today. It's really hard to see with all the trees, so I went down there for a couple hours and I, I took away some uh, debris and trees and just moved them on out and it's a, a little bit better visibility. The lingering question now is, did the train engineer blow his horn? We told you yesterday that per Federal Railroad Administration rules, the train horn is required through a public crossing. The railroad company has confirmed this crossing is public. Well, that concrete mixing drum that came off the truck is still sitting on the side of the railroad tracks today. You can see a huge dent left in it there. Now, we also reached out to the railroad company uh, just to ask them any more details about the crash that they can give us. They've simply said that they're cooperating with the investigation and will not comment further. Tom.